Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Thanks so much for joining me for this video today. I don't know if it's really appropriate to squeal on camera. Squeal! I am super excited about this fun fold card. Look at this cutie. It looks pretty complicated, but you guys know that I always try to simplify stuff. And I've changed a few things about how I put it together from the directions that I receive to make it just a little bit easier. And I am just stoked to show you how to make this. It stands up just like this. And I know it's hard to see from the camera being up there, but it does stand up just like that. And guess what? It folds down perfectly flat to fit in an envelope. Is that not the coolest? And you're like, well, what about your greeting? Where do you write on this card? Ta-da! You write right on the back. So let's get started and I'm going to show you how to make this. I decided that I'm going to make this card a different color with a different pattern of designer series paper. So I'll have two different versions to show you, which I always love to show you lots of options. So what I've got here, well first of all let me talk about this designer series paper. Oh my gosh, this is called A Whole Lot of Lovely and it's on page 188 in the big catalog. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. I love black and white. Look at all these fabulous designs. Look at those peaches. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. And one of the things that I love about our designer series paper is that on the back of the 12 by 12 pack that you get, it shows you all of the coordinating colors that go with it. So in this whole lot of lovely, you've got basic black, crushed curry, pear pizzazz, pool party, powder pink, soft suede, tangerine tango, tranquil tide, and whisper white. Boom. All kinds of options here. And that's how I, 99% of the time, decide which colors I'm going to use with the cards that I'm making if I'm using designer series paper. And I absolutely love that. Okay, let's get to our cardstock layers. This soft suede piece is four and a quarter wide by eight and three eighths. So you only have to cut off a little um, eighth of an inch if you've got your cardstock this way. So that's pretty cool. Four and a quarter by eight and three eighths. We're gonna score that in just a minute. Now this piece is the front panel piece. And I have to tell you, when I make up a prototype, doesn't that sound fancy? When I make up a prototype, I usually use some crummy old cardstock that I have, and I do all the score lines and cutting, and I put it together so I know what in the heck am I doing, right? So the soft suede piece is gonna be this back panel that comes up and loops around like this. The front panel is this piece right here, and I decided to use designer series paper on this one also. This front panel is three inches by four and seven eighths. Then I want a layer on the back of my card of just colored cardstock. If you're just gonna do one piece of white on the back for your greeting, this is your measurement. This is four and an eighth by four and three eighths. This white layer is gonna go right on top of this and this is what we're gonna stamp our greeting on. So this is just an eighth of an inch smaller at four by four and a quarter. This is the little panel or layer that's gonna go on the front that we're gonna stamp on and this one is two and seven eighths by three and three eighths. Okay, I think we're ready to score now. You're gonna take your back panel and your front panel to do the scoring. I'm gonna bring my handy dandy paper trimmer in here. We're scoring on the long, you're gonna put it in this way to score, so I always call that scoring on the long side. This back panel, or the card base, is gonna be scored at 3 eighths of an inch. And remember, 3 eighths is just 1 eighth smaller than a half. I know sometimes these funny measurements get a little confusing. So there's 3 eighths, and now I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna score again at 1 and 3 eighths. two and seven eighths, and three and seven eighths. This piece is done. Now I'm gonna bring in my designer series paper and I'm gonna score this at three eighths and one and three eighths. 
Okay, boom. Simple Simon, right? We're gonna fold and burnish on our score lines. And you're gonna fold these under. So whatever color or pattern you want on the front. And you could use solid cardstock for this part too, but I just thought it was fun to use designer series paper. And then for this piece, this piece you folded back, this one you're gonna fold forward. So we're gonna bring this up and fold on our score line and burnish on each one of these. And make sure if you didn't score or cut, perfectly straight that you can now kind of manipulate your cardstock to make sure that you're getting it straight at this point. You know what I mean? That happens to me sometimes. Okay, so this is so, so simple. You're not going to believe it. All right, now we have this piece like this, right? You're going to put tear tape, sticky strip, or adhesive, not your snail runners or your tape runners. They're not sticky enough to hold this together. You're gonna put whatever other adhesive besides that on this panel, just like this. And now you're gonna fold that under. So we have, we're folding, here's our first score line, our second score line, our third score line, okay? We're folding this down on that second score line. See what I'm doing here? You're gonna fold this under and you're gonna go just like that. Is that not the easiest thing ever? And that is our card base. I mean, it's just that simple. Are you ready to squeal with me? Should we squeal together? Oh my gosh, okay. And then the card lays flat, just like this, to mail. All right, next. We've got this piece that we folded backwards and we've got this little tab here. And we're gonna put our adhesive on that little tab. Okay, so once we have our glue on there, now we're gonna fold our card flat like this, and you're going to just fold that little tab down. So we've just got that one little tab down. You're gonna center this from right to left, and you're gonna press that down, just like that. Okay, so our card was flattened like we're gonna put it in the envelope. You're gonna make this layer meet the bottom of your card and center it right to left and push that little tab down. And are you ready? Amazing, right? Who is squealing? Who is squealing at home? This is super duper exciting. Okay, let's make the rest of our card. I am going to do my back panel first. One thing you wanna do is you wanna bring this up to your card and see which way you're gonna be stamping. It needs to be this way, okay? I almost stamped it the wrong way when I did it before. On my original card, I used basic black ink. And on this one, I'm gonna use soft suede because that's the color of my card base. So I'll bring that original card back out in just a second and show you. But I have put It's Your Day and Eat Cake on one block and made sure it was straight. I love stamping with two stamps on one block, so you are just ensured that it's gonna be great, right? And now I'm going to use my Pool Party ink and stamp my flowers. This, oh, did I even tell you what set this is? This is all from the Big on Birthday set, and I love this. Everything looks a lot smaller here than it really is. You've got this big present, you've got this big bow, and here's the greeting we're gonna put on the front. Look how big these are. They are amazing. And that reminds me, did you see that on Wednesday, I was the guest tutorial on splitcoaststampers.com. And I also used this very same set. I used the happy birthday greeting out of here, which is like, a, it's, it's big and I needed a big greeting. So make sure you head over to Split Coast and check out the Wednesday tutorial. I was the guest tutorial and I showed a really cool background technique. Okay, I have this part done and now I'm just going to glue it on to my pool party layer. And I've left a really thin margin around here. I'm gonna move these ink pads because you guys know what happens to me if I don't, right? I will dump my card in there and then you will get to see a grown woman cry. No, there's no crying and stamping. But sometimes I feel like crying, I'll tell you. When you do something like that, and it's usually when you have your card all done and then you drop it in the ink and you're like, oh, you gotta be kidding me, right? 
All right, there's our back. And now we're going to do the front layer, which is this little one here. And we know that it goes on there like that. I'm gonna bring that soft suede ink in again and stamp my greeting. I love photo, po photo polymer because you can see exactly where you're stamping. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. Bringing the pool party back in here so I can put some little floral decorations on the top and the bottom of this front panel. Isn't that cute? I know, you guys aren't here to say, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So just trust me, it's cute. And here we go with this layer. And then there was one other thing that I added to my card that thought was I thought it was just so appropriate. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, you guys? Uh, let me clean this one off. You can take your soft suede ink and add some stamping on the background of this suede card base because, oh my doesn't that look awesome that was just like a total afterthought and I'm just gonna add some down here on this one let's see what happens well you can't really see that well let's do some on the sides here this is how great ideas are born do one right there I'm gonna bring this side around and do one right there ah! I am rocking this tonight I'm having such a good time stamping I just sat down and boom, I pushed out this card. Sounds like I'm having a baby. <laughs> Believe me, there are no more babies for this mama. And next, I put some ribbon on. This is our 3 8 inch pool party sparkle ribbon. And it might be hard to see in the camera, but it's got sparklies in it and it is so, so pretty. Now, when I made my first card or my prototype, I tied some ribbon on it and I decided after I had the bow done, it's like, Kelly, you should have turned that upside down and tied that ribbon. I don't really remember why I thought I should do that because, well, my memory's not as good as it used to be. So I'm just gonna tie it upside down because it was a thought and there had to be a reason for it. And I'm just gonna go with my instinct here. I think the bow just lays better when I, um, it looked like it was upside down. So I thought, well, geez, if I, you know, put it upside down, then it'll look perfect, right? I got this one twisted, hang on. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm just laying that down. I'm tying, whoops, I'm gonna wreck my card. I need to stop talking so much and pay attention to what I'm doing here. I just wanna, there we go. Wanted to center that, not destroy my card. Okay, I think it just laid better when it was upside down. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, you guys didn't know you were gonna get some serenading here too, did ya? There we go. There's our amazing little card. And again, oh, did I tell you what this is called? Well, it was called in the instructions that I got, uh, which, thank you, Doris. Doris, my downline, shared this with me. Um, in the instructions I found, it was called a fold flat card. And, well, I don't really like that name. And since this is my video, I get to name it whatever I want. So I'm calling it a flat pop-up. Flat and then pop-up. Don't you think that's appropriate? Flat pop-up. And these cards really do stand up. They're adorable. They stand up. This is a bad view, but just trust me, they stand up. And they lay flat. So let's just bring an envelope in here so I can prove it. Now I am going to, I think I'm going to stamp these flowers right here and right here so I can just add my address right in that beautiful little area. Am I on a roll or what? There we go. Address goes right here. Beautiful card. Let's bring this other one in here. Isn't that just stinking adorable? This one uses the Crinkle Peekaboo Peach seam binding. I've used the whole lot of lovely designer series paper on page 188 in the big catalog for both of these cards. Oh, one last thing I almost forgot because I was tugging on that other card, I remembered that you should glue this down. 
it'll just help stabilize your card. And again, just push it flat, just like that, and put the glue on it. Boom. Isn't that cool? It's cool. Okay. Tangerine Tango and Pool Party with Whisper White. Pool Party Ink and Black. And I did the same thing here. Tangerine Tango, Pool Party Black. This one is Soft Suede with Soft Suede. Again, with the whole lot of lovely Designer Series paper and Whisper White with Soft Suede and Pool Party Ink. And this is our Sparkle Ribbon. Thanks you guys so much for joining me for this video today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to come and watch my videos. Make sure you click down here in the corner and click on that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel. That'll ensure that you don't miss anything. And remember, if you need any of these products, you can go right to my blog, and I've got that address right here, www.estampabove.com, and there's an order now button. You can click on that, it'll take you right to my store. Also, if you're watching this video on YouTube, Right under the video is a tiny little description of my video, and then it says See More. When you click on that See More, all of the products I use for these cards are going to be underneath that description. Also a link right to my blog where you'll be able to find the scoring and cutting dimensions. I always put that on my blog with almost all my cards so that it's easier for you to recreate it. So underneath the YouTube, click on see more. You can click on my link and go right to my blog. You can also go down underneath that in the description and I'll have all the products. You can click right on them. It'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. And as always, I really, really appreciate your orders and it keeps me being able to bring you more great ideas. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please consider ordering through me. I really appreciate it. You guys have yourself a great day and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.